Hey everybody, Nick Foxcroft, Silver Salmon Challenge. It is the first day of spring and uh, we're all ramping up for the uh, up and coming salmon season. We've uh, come out here to the Ringwood Fish Culture Station uh, run by Metro East Anglers. We wanted to uh, give you guys a bit more information on how all this runs. You know, the fish are going out to the pens in the, in the weeks coming and uh, we're excited to chat with the guys and hopefully help you guys understand how all this works and the efforts that go behind this fishery, which as I'm sure you all agree, it's second to none. So uh, let's get inside and check out what these guys have to say. We're in the advanced rearing room here at the Ringwood Fish Culture Station. Uh, the objective in this room obviously is advanced rearing. We want to get the fish up their stocking size. Uh, stocking size is typically uh, anywhere from 30 to 40 grams. Uh, we have to manage that stocking size because obviously we have to transport the fish, we have to supply feed to the fish. Uh, so there's costs associated with doing that kind of thing. Uh, also, uh, taking care of the fish at this size is more work than it is when they're younger. Uh, so the whole operation within advanced rearing is to hit the target for stocking, uh, to manage the fish, keep them healthy, keep them growing. Uh, that involves daily crews coming in, uh, taking care of the fish, uh, removing any dead fish that may be in the tank, uh, cleaning the tanks because the fish like to poop a lot because we're trying to feed them a fair amount. Um, and uh, to load the, uh, the feeders on each of the tank with a predetermined amount of feed each day. In this room right now, we have about 35, 40,000 steelhead that came into the hatchery last year. Uh, they're probably in the 30 gram range right now and we expect to be stocking them out next month. Volunteering is a, is a um, uh, an honorable thing for people to do. You know, you're not going to work, you're spending some of your personal time to do something for the hatchery. So we're always looking for people that you know, are concerned about the environment, they're concerned about the fishery, or they just want to get involved and do something fun in their spare time that's giving back to something rather than uh, the opposite. This is one of our advanced rearing tanks here. Uh, we've got about 15,000 steelhead in here. They're about a year old. Uh, they'll be stocked out into East End tributaries uh, in uh, the next month's time frame. One of our volunteers, Tom, here, he's been busy working on this tank. What are you up to there, Tom? I'm just finishing up cleaning the tanks out. It's a daily chore that must be done just to keep the tanks clean. And next we're going to be feeding them, so... All right, so this is our 24-hour uh, automatic feeding system that we use. So every day someone comes in, they have to feed it. Um, these are our feeding trays, so all this stuff is correlation, it has correlation with uh, the feed schedule inside the feed room. So the first thing we want to do is we always want to make sure that the system's clean from old feed that's been in there. And then once that's all cleaned out, you set the conveyor belt. So it's a ratcheting system, you pull it, and then it sets the timer. And then you're just gonna take the feed. How much feed are they getting for you, They're getting approximately about two kilograms of feed. So then in about 24 hours, this will be empty, the fish will be fed, and you start the process over. And you're going to repeat that process with every tank in here that has fish. I started back here, I want to say in the summer of 21. And uh, it just really pulled up my internal like drive to want to give back to something of, uh, of this nature. Um, I've been involved in the fishery at Lake Ontario recreationally for about a decade now. And the fact that I can come here, volunteer and give back and really understand where things come from. Um, motivates me to come out and, and get involved with all, all this, so it uh, means a lot. A lot of the guys here have a ton of knowledge and women, um, and it makes it really easy to come here because everybody's here for the same reason, right? They have a passion for the fishery, the fish, so it honors me to be involved in it, and I learn a lot every time I'm here from Glenn and other members of, of the hatchery. You know, I think it's important for everybody who, who fishes, whether uh, you're a warm water fisherman or a cold water fisherman, uh, to be aware of, of what's going on uh, within the environment with your sport that you're getting, that, that you're taking advantage of, that, that you're using for your own personal uh, benefit or pleasure. 
Um, so there, there's a whole lot that goes on behind the scene, especially when it comes to stockfish like salmon and trout. Uh, there's a lot of effort that goes in from the Ministry of Natural Resources and from volunteer-run fish hatcheries. So it, it would be great if everybody who fishes actually took the time to take a look into that, and it would be even better if some of those people got involved from a volunteer perspective to, to help contribute back into that.